For years, experienced electric vehicle enthusiasts had been waiting for the chance to invest in Lucid Group and Rivian Automotive, which had long been regarded as two of the most professionally managed startups in the industry. Both companies went public in 2021 and saw their stock prices soar to dizzying heights. Investors are seeking to evaluate the growing hype around both firms as opposed to the long-term prospects for both electric car startups as they enter the last week of January. Yet another breathtaking development awaits Rivian supporters, while Lucid supporters may be pleased with the steady growth of LCID in recent weeks. Compared to Lucid, Rivian's business valuation has collapsed since last year when it was valued at almost twice as much. Today, it is worth less than the Californian startup's valuation. While part of the credit may be attributed to LCID's continued growth since the start of the new year, however, repeated unfavorable headline stories for the electric truck manufacturer have made the most significant impact to the losing streak. So, what was the source of the stock's steep decline? And which one is the better investment right now? Stick around till the end to know the answers to these questions. Welcome back to New Vehicle Media, your go-to channel for EV stock. Quick reminder, subscribing's free and liking the video will help YouTube suggest similar content. Comments are loved and featured in our upcoming videos. Lucid has passed Rivian's market capitalization for the first time since Rivian's IPO on November 10, 2021. Back then, the stock for the EV pickup manufacturer was offered for $78 per share and rose to as high as $172 until a protracted and continuous decline drove it down to the current cost of roughly $65 per share. Currently, the pickup manufacturer is valued at $4 billion less than the Californian startup. Based on current market valuations, Lucid Motors is valued at $62.15 billion and Rivian is valued at $58.08 billion, respectively, ranking them as the 10th and 11th most valuable automobile firms in the world. Rivian launched its initial public offering as the latest in a long line of potential electric vehicle makers with attractive goods and the potential of significant business opportunities in the future. Despite the fact that the transactions are still being done and the R1T is still a very appealing vehicle, the stock is currently trading almost 60% lower than it did at its all-time high of $172, reducing the company's market capitalization from over $150 billion to about $58 billion. There are a number of variables contributing to this, including the continuous sell-offs in the broader electric vehicle industry as a whole. First and foremost, during its third quarter financial report on December 16th, Rivian disclosed that the company had lost more money than had been anticipated. It is common for new automotive companies to have losses during their first few years in business. While this is not ideal, it is a necessary aspect of starting up a new organization. In contrast, unanticipated losses, which, in Rivian's case, might alert shareholders that something is wrong at the top of the organization, causing them to become more worried about the future of the company. Another factor to consider is that the company's chief operating officer, Rod Copes, resigned from his role in December just as the business was ramping up manufacture of the R1T pickup. To be clear, this was, in Copes' own words, a scheduled separation from Rivian, with the two-year veteran departing on good terms. However, the timing could have been better given the circumstances. Investors responded strongly to the departure of a top executive from the firm at such a critical time in the company's history. As far as the business is concerned, Copes' responsibilities have been distributed among other executives, and the company is continuing operations like before. The third factor that contributed to the American EV pickup startup was Amazon's newly disclosed partnership with Stellantis, which would see one multinational behemoth 
provide the other with battery electric variants of the Ram ProMaster van that will be adopted for last mile services in the United States. At the time of its initial public offering, Amazon was Rivian's second largest stakeholder and the agreement between the two companies to provide Amazon with 100,000 electric delivery vans by 2030 was indeed a strong marketing ring for the company. That agreement is still in effect, but the announcement that Amazon is seeking for more electric van manufacturers resulted in an 11% decline in the stock price of Rivian on the day it was revealed. Finally, there was the announcement that the business failed to achieve its objective of manufacturing 1,200 automobiles by the end of 2021. The actual number of units manufactured was 1,050, with 920 of those units having been delivered by January 10th. Unlike the other three causes for the decline in the shares of Rivian, this one seems to be much more foreseeable for a young manufacturing company. Rivian is not alone in experiencing challenges, as Lucid has also had issues in recent months. Some Lucid customers have complained about delays in delivery and subpar communication from the firm about when their dream additions would arrive. The announcement that the business was the subject of an SEC investigation and the issuance of increased reservation figures to stakeholders did not improve the stock's price either. Although Lucid has faced some difficulties, it has not suffered the same setbacks as Rivian. Actually, it has improved on its valuation and it seems to be the more secure investment for investors going ahead. The lockup term for its initial stockholders ended on January 19th, the same day that Lucid became more valuable than Rivian. Because of the nature of lockup expirations, it was expected that Rawlinson's firm would lose value on that day. Yet, LCID ended the day with a positive gain. There was no evidence of a PIF sell-off by major shareholders. It's safe to claim that LCID investors are in a comfortable position. And now, Lucid has surpassed Rivian to become the world's second most valued EV maker behind only Tesla, which has been on top of the rankings. The electric vehicle startups Rivian and Lucid both provided investors with the chance to make an investment in an early-stage EV firm. Some individual investors, however, were concerned about the value of these two companies. Aside from that, the rivalry from established manufacturers such as Ford and General Motors is becoming more fierce. On top of that, investors should be mindful of the elephant in the room, which in this case happens to be Tesla. Both companies are now investing billions of dollars to fuel their respective future expansions. Due to the fact that these two electric vehicle companies are attempting to establish themselves, investors will want to stay up to date on booking reports and corporate announcements. In the wake of Amazon and Ford's investment in Rivian Automotive, the company's stock has continued to record lower lows as investors doubt the company's intangible market. We have barely been in the new year for three weeks and the company has already lost 38% of its value. The hefty premium placed on Rivian's business potential in the EV industry foreshadows a greater downfall. Despite dropping below the price of the company's initial public offering last year, shares of Rivian are still expensive as per analysts and the risk profile remains extremely unattractive. Even though Rivian is still in the process of scaling up production, which will take years to complete, the firm will continue to operate in the negative free cash flow zone until at least fiscal year 2024. The EV company's value is around three to four years ahead of where Rivian's business is today, and the stock has even more room to drop. Let us know what you feel about the recent position of the company in the comments below. Jalantha Byrne has been keeping a close eye on the performance of Rivian. He says that a large number of firms have canceled their plans to get together with this company. During a period when stocks fell from $165 per share to $94 per share, he purchased and disposed of at a loss. That should wrap things up for today. Keep in mind that subscribing is still free and liking helps YouTube recognize your preferences. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.